Scuba diving is an amazing sport, exploring an alien world in a weightless environment with cool equipment. All up until the point where this little box on your wrist says that you have to stay right here for a bit until it's done counting. Yes, I get it, it's there for safety, but it can be darn boring just halvering there doing nothing, awkwardly looking into your buddy's eyes when you know that he's married. So, <coughs> not you, Sean. So what else can you do whilst you're on a stop? So one computer manufacturer hinted that they were actually looking into short video clips that you could watch on their dive computer. Great if you're on a line, but free floating, your depth may change if something dramatic happens and you go, <gasps> Well, I've done just a few stops in my career, so I've had plenty of time to think about it, and so many other people just end their dive as soon as they reach the shot line. Their eyes just glaze over and they just stare at their computer, but there's still so much to do and lots to look at. So let's take a look at things that you can do on a safety stop. Ah, three in a row. The number of times I've been sat there with students waiting three minutes because there's really nothing to look at and we've already reached our exit point. You can obviously play tic-tac-toe on a slate, but remember not to go too big. A full game doesn't take three minutes and, you know, chess is really hard to write down and play on a slate whilst maintaining your buoyancy. Take your time to properly send up a DSMB, deploying your line, attaching it to your SMB, control your buoyancy, and inflating the SMB fully. At this point, if you're deep enough and have the right spool, you can actually let it go, and it will just kind of spin there in midair in front of you. But of course, don't do that if you're no good at catching, because as soon as the SMB reaches the top, it's just gonna keep on going. Uh, and remember that if your spool isn't tied on at the end of it, because um, that would just disappear. Once deployed properly and locked off, you actually have a really nice depth reference to hang at, and the surface know exactly where you are and how professional you are at deploying an SMB. Stops don't mean that you have to sit motionless at one depth just like a lemon. Cruise around and actually look at what's around at that depth. This actually helps with your decompression because you're moving around and staying horizontal as you swim around as you should be, so that your whole body is decompressing at the same rate. If you're upright, then your head is gonna be at a different pressure to your feet, so it's actually best to stay flat at a stop. Practice makes perfect, and if there's nothing better to do, then practice some drills. That way, when it actually comes down to it and something does hit some rotating blades of a household appliance, then you're actually prepared for it. Let your buddy know, obviously, and do some mask removals. Um, get your face used to the rush of water around it and then clearing your mask. That way, if anything does happen on a dive, you're used to it already and it's not gonna be so much of a shock. Shut down drills on twins, regulator recovery, out of air drills, whatever you like, just give them a go so that you and your buddy are well practiced. Just, you know, leave out scissors or uh, equipment removal, cause, you know, buoyancy. Test your remedial hand signals with a game of I Spy with your buddy. It gets the mind going, thinking of the right signal for like a raccoon, butterfly fish, or you know, sea, weed. Um, a, a slate definitely helps with this game, but to be honest, it's more fun just with hand signals, just to see what people come up with. Shallow water reefs collect trash, so whilst you have five minutes, snoop around a little bit and collect some trash. It's good practice for your buoyancy and it's great for the environment too. Just remember your depth and stay away from coral, especially in turbulent waters. But seriously, I've collected a whole bunch of plastic junk on stops. Just bring a small mesh bag with you to collect it all or go, go on your dive with an empty thigh pocket. That way you can fill it up with trash and dispose of it responsibly.
So have you got a few new ideas on what to do on a stop instead of just sitting there and watching a countdown? Uh, what other ideas do you guys have to do on a safety stop? Let's discuss hanging at a certain depth with limited equipment and what to do in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then by all means, click on that little thumbs up symbol and the subscribe button so more of our videos are suggested in your feed. And if you loved it so much, then you can also click on that little bell icon so that you're told whenever we upload a video. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.